A time where religion was vital to daily life. One family on a journey toward retribution. Join us as we take you back to the 1920s. As I Lie Dying, a novel written by William Faulkner in 1930, is about the Bundren family on a quest to bury their dead mother. Set in the 1920s in the fictional Yokonatapa County, the book focuses on many Bundren children and their personal interpretation to the events that transpire throughout the novel. And how does Faulkner reveal these interpretations to the reader? The novel is told from the varying perspectives of each character, totaling 15 narrators in all. Each character's narration is intimate and particular, ranging from objective and descriptive to disconnected and barely comprehensible. Each narrator comes with his or her own bias and agenda, influencing what they see and how they see it. These perspectives then alter how the reader sees each character. Now, you see, when we talk about the characters in the story, you really need to focus on how the characters interact with each other, with the family interactions being the most important. We were given specific assumptions in the very beginning that characters are this way or that, but that's not what they're like. Faulkner reveals as the story goes on that each and every character in the story is very dynamic and round. We come to realize that each member of the Bungeon's family undergoes a Bildungsroman in which they realize more about themselves and each other as their journey progresses. In a strange room, you must empty yourself for sleep. And before you are emptied for sleep, you are not. And when you are filled to sleep, you never were. I don't know what I am. I don't know if I am or not. This quote by Darl, one of Anne's many children, is of course ludicrous. However, it provides an excellent example of the twisted logic with all characters in the book. Interpret the world. This leads to the motif that every event is interpreted differently by each character, and each reacts in different and often strange ways. Throughout this book, symbolism is also a regular feature. The symbolisms are really vehicles for the characters of the novel to sort of cope with the circumstances of their mother's death. And they use them to create sort of an alternate reality in their minds. As I Lay Dying, overall, reaches to the far ends of the psyche and back. By the end of the novel, this drives one of the characters to insanity. God damn you. God damn you.